Hi everyone, I'm Brian Ewell, the Master Superintendent of Uplands Golf Club. This time of the year in April, we usually work on our aeration practices in order to improve our air and water movement through the profile. One of the comments that came out through the membership survey are, are quite common is people wanted firmer fairways. So we have two options to look at. Is this a subsurface problem or a surface problem? The subsurface problem would be using aeration or slicing. So in our case, in March, we actually went out with our deep tine aerator and we aerated down about six inches with a bit of a kicking action to open up the subsurface and allow air and water to drain through. The second part to improve firmness is the surface aspect of it. In this case is a layer of decaying organic matter called thatch. As you can see, we're standing here on the right of the six hole and we've ran our power rake on here. So our power rake is, uh, or a graden verticut unit actually slices into the ground, very similar to a power rake that you rent and it removes this type of debris out of the profile here. So we have this decaying organic matter that's removed out. It leaves channels approximately three quarters of an inch deep around two inches apart, so we have a lot of material that comes out of here. We actually will remove the equivalent of about 30 dump truck loads off of our fairways in the rough. As you can see, the expansive area here, the mounted debris that comes up when we go through the verticut process. When you clean the profile, you'll see that we're left with these channels here, and these little channels that we can use to fill up sand. These channels will be the, really the, the changing part of how we can improve the firmness of the fairways. So the practice is, is that we run the vertical mower through the fairways and rough. It will take approximately two to three hours per fairway in order to get the material removed up. Then we use a couple uh, large blowers and we blow the debris in windrows and then we vacuum up the debris. And then the final piece of the puzzle is we top dress our, our fairways to fill up these little channels. And now we have these little sand bands or mini bands of sand throughout the whole profile. And this is a big improvement as far as how we can get firmness. We will put the equivalent of 300 ton of sand on the golf course. For example, our sand bin holds approximately 80 ton of sand as the picture shows, so we have to fill this up three times and get that material out onto the golf course. And once we do that, then we use a drag mat to drag the sand in. The final piece of the puzzle, especially on the approaches, is we want the ball to release to the green. So we're using our greens aerators with 5 8 inch tines with one inch spacing. So a lot of holes go uh, in front of the greens here and we'll fill these holes up. So a combination of vertical mowing, aeration, removing this organic matter, we are looking forward to some firmer, faster fairways and ball that will release onto the green. Happy golfing, everyone.